Notice I've said there, under the law of attraction operates on the soul condition. That the soul condition determines how the law of attraction operates. And I'm drumming this into you. In disharmony with love, if you, if you operate in disharmony with love, it is going to bring painful events into your life to correct you. If you operate in harmony with love, it will bring you many uplifting and joyful experiences in your life. So, one lesson of love that you will talk, we'll talk about in two weeks' time is if I am in pain, then something unloving is happening. Now, I'm not talking about the process of releasing emotional pain. I'm talking about the pain of what you would call suffering. Right? Pain is a great thing. The reason why it's a great thing is it tells you immediately through your law of attraction that something's wrong. Pain is a very good thing. Suffering is not a good thing. How many of you enjoy suffering? No. How many of you enjoy pain? No. But pain is actually a good thing. Because pain tells you when you break a law. Pain in your body tells you a law is being broken right now. If you have pain in any part of your body, a law is being broken. Right? A law of love is being broken if you have this pain. Now, it might be a law of love if it's down here. It might be a law of love revolving how you view yourself, how you view yourself in a relationship. If, it might, if it's here, it might be regarding how you fear things still. You know, if it's here, it might be how you're holding on to sadness and not letting it go. It's all laws of love being broken. Your law of attraction is bringing you every pain in your body. Every single body pain, every single accident you have, every single disease you get, and every single illness you have, is all a result of your law of attraction. Every single positive experience you have, every single uplifting experience you're having, every single joyous and loving experience you're having, is also all the result of your law of attraction. Can you see how it operates without partiality? There are good things inside of us and there are things that are evil inside of us. And those good things are attracting very positive events in our law of attraction and the evil things are attracting very negative events in our law of attraction. When I say evil, I'm saying disharmony with love. All right? So, if I'm in pain, that's great. Listen to your pains, because your pains are telling you straight away, there's something wrong, something wrong. Right? So, even when I'm talking nowadays, I just, like, oh, there's a pain in my foot. What did I just say? What's going on? You know what I mean? So just let yourself feel what's going on emotionally. Let yourself be aware of what's happening. Which foot is it? Left-hand side. Women stuff. Why am I feeling that? You know? Allow yourself to look at yourself in the mirror. Suffering is long-term pain. That's where we haven't listened for a long time. Now, that's really hard to overcome. Because if you haven't listened for a long time, you've usually got a very, very good reason, right? That you feel you have a very good reason for not listening for such a long time. So it's going to be very tempted for you to not listen some more, isn't it? But understand that those two things are telling you through your law of attraction, what's going on for you. Now you notice in there too, I've said the most powerful way to change your soul condition is by receiving divine love. As divine love enters your soul, your soul changes and every single untruth within it gets exposed. And remember, untruth is emotional untruth too. It'll come out as emotions. Not as a thought, but as an emotion. All right. So, are we all all okay with soul condition? So, most of us know a little diagram where we have our soul. So, there's our half of the soul. So, mine's the male half of the soul. It's my body, disproportionate as usual. There's my spirit body, physical body. Okay, and there's my soul, right? Now, what is the real me? Soul. Okay, and what is that again? 
my emotions, passions, desires, longings, beliefs, intentions, all those things that we mentioned earlier. Okay? So, if I go and get some therapy that actually deals with this, what am I ignoring? My soul. And what's my law of attraction operating by? My soul. So I'm not saying don't deal with the spirit body or don't deal with the material body. But the majority of us, when we deal with those two things, we ignore our soul. And it's the soul's emotions that actually create all the illnesses in these bodies and all the problems with those bodies and all the attractions of those bodies. So if I'm just going to deal with these two things, all I'm dealing with is the effect of the soul's causal condition. The soul is the cause and these are the effects.